Hey guys, Chad here, CK Knife and Tool. Thought I'd show you a little bit about my fodder system. Right here is the garbage can that we store our grains in. This is a mix of barley and field pea. Every now and then you'll find a little stick of corn or uh, a wheat stick or something like that, but it's uh, it comes from the producer that way, but it's barley and field pea. And we use a two cup uh, cup here. It's all one cup, but we use two and a half cups and it's two and a half cups because we fill it pretty much to the top of the opening there. And uh, as you see though, it's dried. We store about 140 pounds. We do two 50 pound bags of barley and a 40 pound bag of field pea. Uh, that, there's my wood spoon that I use it to mix up with the water bleach mix. Here is a picture of some of the sprouting that takes place after being soaked for one day and then also being uh, one day inside the white tray. That helps promote that root growth you're starting to see right there. Here's the second day inside the tray. So that's one day of soaking in the red Folgers can and two days in that white tray. This is ready to go inside a black tray now. You'll notice the roots have gotten considerably bigger since the previous day. That's what you want. When the roots are like this, you put it in a black tray, and that keeps the grain from sliding around in the black tray while it's being watered. This root system really helps lock them together. And now here we go. We'll just transfer everything out of that tray you just saw into a 12 by 24 inch fodder tray. These fodder trays, uh, I get them from Amazon. If I got a link, I'll throw them in the description down below in the box. But these trays were about a 10 or 12 pack for around 30, 35 bucks, something like that. And uh, you have to drill your own holes in them. And right here, that's the white tray. Again, that's, um, I'll show again later, but we get these from the hospital and uh, they're free. We drill holes in those. Uh, the holes in the white tray, as well as the black fodder tray, they're about 3 16 of an inch in diameter. I'll drill a bunch of them in there. Now I'm packing all the grain down. As I water it, I pack it all in and keep it all locked together. What this does is it keeps the grain from sliding to one side of the tray because you'll see later that my trays are on angles. I keep the trays that way because the water drains out better than it does to leave them flat with all the holes. The two things you always want to make sure with doing fodder, I've learned this quite a bit, it's watering and drainage. Now here's the white tray. This is that white tray. It's approximately nine inches by nine inches and about three inches deep. That red Folgers can there, that's had that grain sitting in it for 24 hours. I have a little bit of bleach inside it, but not much. I keep a mixture about 50-50 or so inside a water bottle and I'll spray, you know, four or five, six squirts inside it. Not a big deal. But the Folgers can, you see, it's about uh, 48 ounces, I believe it was. And um, what that does is I just I fill it up with water, pour the, the two and a half cups of grain from the can that you saw previously, and let them sit in there for 24 hours. This is the important part, though, is making sure this tray is rinsed well. You're going to rinse this tray out really good. Rinse this grain off well, and you're going to get a lot of the, the dead debris and materials and such that were floating around inside there. And clean the grains off really well. Then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and put it up on top of the rack above all the other fodder trays. I'm um, here just cleaning out a little bit. You'll see some of the debris running around in the shower pan. That's all that got washed out from that white tray. Let's put that up there. Now, this is that tray. So this is 24 hours after soaking in that red Folgers can. Let's clean up a little bit here. Uh, these little racks are great. They're like 20 bucks from Lowe's. So let's go up to the top here and I'll show you the rest of this process. There's the water's trickling through, watering all the, the trays. And you'll notice that that one tray there, and I call it a diffusing tray simply because there's no grain in it. What it does is it helps the water pour out evenly among the trays that are down below like that one. If I didn't do that, then all the water would completely rush down into one spot and it would disturb the root system and the fodder and you don't want that. You want to keep a nice even watering throughout the entire system. The other thing is, is you want to make sure you put your newest grains at the top and your oldest at the bottom. This keeps from any type of cross contamination.
Now here's a quick picture of what that tray looks like before we, and then after. So again, we just uh, we drill these holes in there, about three sixteenths of an inch or so in diameter, and uh, drill a bunch of them in there. Grain won't fall out. All right, guys, I wanted to show you what it looked like. This is the night before we feed them. So this is what the, the trail looked like. You see these, again, this is uh, field pea and barley. It's got a really good, give you an idea of what it looks like with my hand here. And then that's a root mat. That's a good root mat right there. Going to give you an idea of what it looks like here. So it's nice and thick. Got really good tall grains are really strong. <laughs> so these things are it's uh you know it's probably six inches tall. These are a good four inches in here. But uh, you want that density. Like I said, look, there's nothing. No waste, no grains down there. Every once in a while we'll get a little bit of a a loose seed here and there. We'll get a loose seed every now and then, but uh, as you'll see. And there's one right there, but that's it. But gives you a good idea of what the root mat looks like and how how tall everything is. So hopefully this video is going to be helping you out. And uh, it's not the the biggest or the best video I've ever made in relation to anything, but. Uh, Hopefully the video helps out and uh, it works out well for everyone. So appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for taking time to watch the video. Like, subscribe, comment, question, answers, whatever you got, leave them down below. Uh, if there's anything else, I'm sure I've put it in either before or after this. But again, thanks for stopping over and hopefully this was uh, useful for you for helping to feed your rabbits, chickens, goats, horses, what it might be. Take care.